Hello there, I am Jankwo with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards for the Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we took on, I think, two or three more ghouls. I think two at the aquarium. Wait, uh, yeah, two at the aquarium and one at the bridge that we didn't do in the last, last part. And we, um, found out that these ghouls have taken over the park, which they weren't doing that, um, you know, before. So, this is where we go to advance in the game. So, let's just go right here and a cutscene will happen. That's a big monster. Whoa! My insect queen, it failed utterly. I think I got your insect queen as a rare card, but you may have bought another one at the card shop. I don't know. Qua! Uh, yeah, you must have been the former Jasp Japanese champion, but you're nothing before me. Why, why are you a ghoul? There's no need to explain to the likes of you. Power rules above all. Leave your deck and get lost. Hi, and all his friends leave too, I guess. And he has an America bandana on, huh? Okay. Hmm? Heh. <laughs> a new prey, a long ripe, a long ripe for plucking. You can fall victim to my new deck likes, like the others. Another four stool, and this could be either a really short part or a really long part, depending on if I can beat him, uh, whenever I beat him, you know, cause this is another boss fight, I guess, boss duel. So let's see here, I'm just gonna, uh, Robert Horseman, I'm going to put you up for Andy. Okay. Ooh, it looks like I have a good hand. Oh man, I have a really good hand, I think. So... Lord of D. I'm going to put Lord of D up front first. Okay, he's going to put that in defense mode, okay. Okay, I'm going to put Doran in next, for effect. And Oh no! What did he do as I'm in- Okay, I thought he was gone forever. Or put himself to the graveyard. And I can't do anything after that, okay. Oh no. That's a really powerful monster. I was afraid of that. Oh man. 1700. Uh, it's 1750. I don't think I can beat that. Wait, I can. But this is a dark monster. Oh no. I could be with blue eyes, but. Oh my gosh. Why it beats dark? Dang it, I can't do anything. Um. Let's get put this in defense. Put both of them in defense. Okay. Aw, oh, no, you made it go from a defense mode to attack mode. Shoot, you suck. You suck. This, this fight's really hard, too. This duel's really hard. Force monster. I have another white monster, but that won't do anything. Wait, what? What's attack on this guy? Twelve hundred. Okay, I think I can beat it with um, Wicked Worm Beast. Here we go. Defense mode. Oh, uh, you can't. Oh my gosh, that sucks. You can't put defense mode. Oh my gosh, this is a really hard duel, and I was really afraid of this happening, but oh well gosh I can't I can't beat in dark I don't know what beats dark if those weren't dark monsters I would have already knocked one the first one out but no I can't white monsters don't even have any effect on dark monsters oh my gosh slot machine that thing's t high on attack I need something, I need, I need a card that has like one summon or less, one sacrifice to summon or less, or more I should say. But no, I'm not getting that. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's 2000, that's even harder to beat. He's getting all the good cards in his deck right now. Oh my gosh. But now I have sacrifice to summon, but I don't have anything on the field. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out this fiend, which I didn't notice as a fiend earlier, but that's okay. Oh well. Dang it, dark beats light, of course. That's another fiend. I don't have really anything to do. I 
Yeah, just wipe out both of our cards there. Yeah, I'm done for. I can't do anything. Unless I draw a really good card. Wait, I can beat that. Why are you kidding me? What if Dio is unable to move? Are you kidding me? That's that was my last hope. I can't win this then. I can't. I can't win this. Okay, here's my chance. This was a face down card. Okay, so if I can just beat, I'm thinking it's a more powerful card. So, but not be. I'm gonna go for the fiend monster I have. So tribute. There we go. I beat it by 1,500, 15 attack points, basically. Okay. Uh, so another probably magic or trap card, though. There we go. Dang it. I have to try to stall some more. Hmm. I got. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put dark hole down there for a second, and hopefully, if I need it, I'll just use it. Okay, this is the same card. Discard that. Discard that too. Take out that card. Okay. I might be able to win this. Sword Hunter, okay. Okay. Word of D, awesome. Here we go, Word of D. And my turn. If there's nothing you can do, I'm gonna do a two card sacrifice. Well, Let's see. I could do more than if I did. Yeah, I'll just attack directly. And I won. Awesome. I thought I was going to lose that duel. There we go. The point is all five points. Still victory. Your deck pass increased by 30. Uh, 20,000 domino was obtained. Barrel dragon was obtained. And this is the card I thought he was going to draw eventually. But this is a really hard card. This is a really powerful card. It's 2600 attack and 2200 defense. It's a dark summon. It's a machine type. It's a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 5, 6. I think it's a level 7 monster. And it, it only costs 30 to put in your deck. A mechanical dragon fitted with cameras. With cannons, I should say. It would. It can wipe out up to 3 ma monsters on the opponent's field with a 2 and 1 success rate. Which I think is pretty good, actually. So yeah. You think you're good, huh? You must, you must be to stand in the way of my vengeance. Where are your friends? Oh, where are my friends? Who is America Store? Where are my friends? Are you a friend of Wheeler's? Then you go tell Yugi this. Defy Master... Master Mikar... Merrick Ishtar, Master Merrick Ishtar is a waste, defying Mer Master Merrick Ishtar is a waste of time. Pegasus is nothing compared to Master Iskar, Ishtar. Ha ha ha, be prepared to fall. Interesting. That little chime means we did something good and put us in the game. So let's go back to the, let's go back to the Clock Tower Square. And let's see if we can add that card into our, card into our deck actually. Yeah, we can add it to our deck, but we have to um, get rid of one card. Okay. Can't get rid of a other dark card, I think. Nope. Um. Fiend, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, shouldn't want to. I think I only need one of these things, but the cost is only 16 actually, never mind. 600. Yeah, I don't know. Let's get rid of something else. Um, 
man. Don't want to give her that. Fiend, okay. Let's give it a real wizard, I guess. You can always add him back to the deck if we're struggling, but yeah. Okay, cool. And back to the card shop we go. Hey, Yugi, Steven. I got a good lead. Joel Ewell was kidnapped, I heard from Tristan. That idiot, what was he doing? Maya, do you know anything? No, I don't know we always whereabouts now, but Seto Kaiba should know exactly where Wheel is. All dual discs have a transponder built in, so the organization, so the organizer can track the locations of duelists. S go to Kaido's corporation and speak to Seto Kaiba. Thank you, Maya. It's no, it's nothing. I'm worried about Wheel and Taya. Hurry up and find them. Yes, Steven, let's go. And now, um, Yugi and... Well, he's supposed to be following me. Yeah, there we go. He can follow you around, basically, so that's pretty cool. So this has been none of my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Secret Cards for the GBA Let's Play part. And the next part we'll take on, and hopefully we'll go to the site, Seto Corporation, next Seto Corporation, and talk to Seto Kaiba, hopefully. So this has been John Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Secret Cards for the GBA Let's Play.